Mm, hello guys, welcome to the, sec the second video. And today we're gonna explore the camera workflow with the VP. Yes, we have a camera workflow, you know, like a like an auto camera switch switcher it is included. Uh, first thing, let's go back to our QVP content folder here in your content browser. Remember, if you don't see all these folders, go view options and show plugin and then your content. Okay, where is it? OPQ, there we go. QVP Studio content. I'm going to go to blueprints and we see we have QVP camera. And now let's drag this camera here. As you can see, this is basically the QVP camera. Um, let's just go ahead and place it, whatever. So you can just go here in perspective and click on the camera. So so you can place the camera, whatever you want it to be. Uh, the QVP camera inherits from the Cine camera actor. So that means that whatever blueprint or component that was that can be assigned to the camera actor, like things for tracking and all that stuff, will work on QBP because it inherits from the Cine camera actor. So yeah, cool. Uh, basically the, okay, where is it? Sorry for the uh, camera. Okay, here in our details. Now if I hit play, as you can see, it will go to where I place my camera, my QBP camera. So, here in my settings, we have the QVP capture camera settings. This is basically the settings for for the talent. I mean, it's the technique I use to bypass you know, the, the, the anti-aliasing thing, pro, anti-aliasing problem in Unreal Engine. We're gonna see it. We're gonna see that later. We're just gonna focus on the way the QVP camera works. So I got here the we will be multi cams in the camera. I'm gonna explain later in a minute as well. And also we got this fixed angles. Let's start working with the fixed angle. Multi cam fixed angles. It's for you know as its name says, is to set different fixed angles. I mean different positions of the camera. So for example, I'm gonna create a, a new angle, right? If I click here the plus sign, I got this zero. So I can click here to expand this. And this angle will be called uh, Y, right? Now, if I go here in perspective, I'm gonna go to my QVP camera and I'm gonna place it uh, like here because that's my wide angle. Uh, also, you go here to current camera settings. You set your lens, uh, you know, your focal length, your aperture from here. So let me set this to 24 millimeters. There you go. So this is the angle name. Go back to my angles. This is the angle, the angle name. This is talents to hide. This is when you know talk, talking about the talents. If there's any talents, I will explain that later in another video. For now, we're gonna focus on the camera. Also, main focus always this for the talent thing, so we can ignore that. So when we have our angle, I mean we have our camera with where we want it to be, we just click here with this capture current state you get you will get now a blue message here you should get it what is it just, you see it updated fixed angle so if i click it it means it's like i capture that angle now it's it, it it saved that angle so now i'm gonna create another one so i'm gonna click here right in this plus sign, this is the angle one now here you gotta be very 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 careful because when, if i click capture current state, it will capture and save to the angle selected here. In this case, fixed angle ID is zero. So if I click capture, it will save this to this angle instead of this. So I need to set this to one. And now I'm gonna name it close, close angle. So let me just place my camera where I want it to be. Let me just set this here so I can have some depth of field. Uh, let me set this to 80 millimeters and let me place it here and I'm going to focus, go to my focus settings and I'm going to focus on this cube. And that's it. Now I will capture it. And as you see, it said updated fixed angle one. Okay. So now I'm going to add another angle. 
here. This will be uh, index two. So I'm gonna add a two here. And just to have an angle, let's call it medium angle. Let me just place my camera here. Let me just change my focal distance here. Right. Just to have something like this, just for the sake of testing. Um, okay. Now, my camera is placed, capture, and I capture the angle too. All right, now, cool thing about this is that it's automatically synchronizing with the view. So, you see, we got three angles, the wide, the close, and the medium. Now, if I hit play, and I go to my quick VP, and I will open uh, my camera, my camera panel, you see, I got the three angles here. Oh, I'm sorry. I got the wide, I got the close angle, and I got the medium angle. You can see I can toggle between them. That's cool. Okay, now, what if we want to modify one of these angles? So let's go to our QVP camera, and let's set our QVP to be the main camera. And here we got a button that says view next angle. So if I click on that, as you can see, we'll go to zero. So it's the angle zero. It will loop through all the angles. So you'll be able just to modify it. And when you make your change, just recapture again, and that's it. So as you can see it, this is how basically the fixed angle works. Now there's another module, which is basically the multicam scene cameras. Uh, basically what this does is, for example, I use this like for playing sequences that have camera animation. I don't know if you use the previous QVP version where you created a cinema, uh, an operator camera and you animated. This case is different because you just need to create a cine camera actor. And then if you want to play some animation, just create a sequencer to attach to that camera. So let me, let me show an example. For example, if I click here and I place a scenic camera actor, I got this one. Let me just place it wherever I want it to be. Here, for example, here. And I'm going to add another one. Now let me just play this one here, for example. Let me just use that here. Okay. I'm going to go out. And uh, you got this lacy. Where is it? Where is it? camera here. You got this lazy button that says update available scene camera actor and it will auto populate with the available cameras. As you can see I got two. So we got two. So I can set the name that I want to have in the quick VP button. For example, scene camera A and scene camera B. So now if I hit play and go to my quick VP I got now two new angles. So with the Cine Camera A, if I click on it, it will go to the Cine Camera A. Same with Cine Camera B. And I keep my fixed angle. Now, if I want to add a quick animation, let me just go ahead and create another actor. And let me just set this camera here with this one. Let me just set it here. And this is just basically using the sequencer workflow. So I'm gonna go to my cinematic at level sequence and I'm gonna save it a uh, test sequence, for example, any name. Cool. So I got my sequencer here. I'm gonna take my camera. So I got this Cine Camera 6, which is the last camera I created. I'm gonna drag and drop it here. I don't need the camera cut, so I'm going to delete it. And I won't use the component. I just, I'm just going to do a quick animation. So here, I'm going to change this to second. Here, show time as seconds. So from zero, I want the camera to be here. And in the second five, I want the camera to be here, right? Let me just mark it. Oh, sorry. Let me go back, zero, five, just camera back. And there you go. So we see we have this animation. Okay, now I'm gonna save my sequence. I'm gonna get out of that camera. 
and I'm gonna pick my clip with the camera. So here, if you click, you gotta be careful here because if you click it, it will restart everything. So whatever you have here, it will be reset. So in this case, I will use it. So I just have two cameras and then I'm just gonna add one manually here, the plus sign. And the camera I'm going to pick is my camera actor six. And here, the camera name, I'm gonna set this to animated camera test. So the sequence to play here is this the animation that I want the camera to play. So I'm going to use the test sequence. So now you can ignore these two values as well. And there you go. So now let's save. Now if I hit play and I go to my QVP, you see I got the new animated camera test. If I click on it, I got the animation playing. So this is how you create a camera animation for now. Uh, in the future, I'm planning to create, you know, some sort of AV point camera animation system. But, you know, this is an early version of QVP. So it's just for testing. And you can just play around with it. But, yeah, this is how basically the QVP camera system works. All right, guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you understand whatever is being explained here. If you like my content, please go ahead and subscribe or leave a comment or even a like. There's also a Patreon that will help me a lot to continue with the development of QBP and uh, some sort of thing that you can <laughs> check it in the Patreon page where I want to build like some sort of my local, you know, virtual studio. So in the next video, we're going to talk about the talent and the chroma key workflow with the uh, QBP. So see you in the next video, guys.